Okay, so we've um, downloaded and installed EasySketch Pro and we've fired it up. I showed you how to do that in the last video and here we are in e inside EasySketch Pro. Um, this whole area, uh, in terms of terminology, we'll call the workspace. It's uh, everything you can do with EasySketch Pro. Um, first thing I want you to notice up here is the version number. Right at the top says EasySketch Pro 2.2.0. That's the that's the version number of the software you're running. Um, if you want to check whether that's the um, the latest version, uh, I showed you how to do that uh, in a previous video. You go to the Inner Circle Riches Members area, go to where you download EasySketch Pro, and which is in Member Central Product Downloads EasySketch Pro, and then you'll see the current version here. 2.2.0, 28th November 2014. So we're actually running 2.2.0, so it's the latest version. So that's how you can check. Okay, um, inside this area here, um, uh, this is a standard sort of Windows program, so um, there's a lot of Windows functions that apply up here in the top right hand corner. We've got the minus sign to minimize the software. So it comes down like that. We've got this to, to resize the software and turn it into uh, a floating window so we can move that around you can make it bigger or smaller by dragging on a corner or on any of the edges just as you can with any Windows software and you can move it around by uh, clicking on the top of the window here uh, holding your mouse button down and dragging it around okay uh, to maximize it again you press this uh, rectangle here up in the top right hand corner and there you go and the uh, X here will close the application as in all Windows applications. Okay, um, you can ha access similar uh, options by going here to the top left and the little EasySketch Pro icon. If you click on that you've got Restore which is the same as uh, Go Full Size minimize, maximize and close the software. Okay, so they're equivalents of the options in the top right hand corner here. Now, um, there's a couple of things I want to point out to you before we uh, we move on. Um, first is down on the bottom left hand side here um, and on the right hand side over here are status bars or status messages. Uh, the one on the left here uh, tells you what EasySketch Pro is doing at the moment and if it's not doing anything at the moment it tells you the last thing it did so in this case loading workspace is done because I haven't done anything uh, since I uh, um, since I booted up EasySketch Pro and then it loaded the workspace and that was the last task it completed over here on the right hand side um, these X and Y coordinates uh, tell you basically if you put objects on the canvas where they're located but to be honest um, I've never referred to them I'm not, I'm not sure why uh, anyone would if, unless they're uh, particularly, it's particularly important that they have exact placing of objects so uh, don't worry too much about that but over in the right hand side here is this little uh, blue tick um, saying idle and um, this this is a status bar will tell you uh, if EasySketch Pro is doing something basically and if it's doing something how many tasks it has to complete we'll see it uh, in action um, as we do things in EasySketch Pro later but the key thing here is that when tasks are being processed over here it says it's doing something and it tells you what it's doing over here um, then you can't do anything um, in EasySketch Pro you've got to wait till it's finished uh, processing uh, for example, when you first load up the software, it has to load the workspace. Depending on the speed of your computer, that may take a few seconds, and you will see this over here as a task being performed, and over here it will say um, something like loading the workspace. Okay, So always look at those status bars. Um, normally it won't... Um, uh, it won't matter because most things are done very quickly. It will matter though when you're handling things like uh, video and audio or music files because it can take time for uh, EasySketch Pro to load those sort of large files and process them. So just keep an eye on them. Okay, so what else have we got here? Um, basically, you uh, do everything you need to do in uh, EasySketch Pro 
by using either these menus, we've got four menus up here, and or more often um, these tool buttons. Um, this is called, if you like, the toolbar, uh, which has various buttons or tools in it for achieving certain things in, uh, in Easy Sketch Pro, and we'll be walking through those uh, during these tutorials. Okay, so broadly speaking, um, these uh, menu options all have their equivalents uh, in the toolbar and it's far easier to use the toolbar than, than the menus. Um, over here we have a little link, uh, need an image, um, that will take you online to a place where you can uh, order um, for example photographs, if you want a photograph that you want sketched out in Easy Sketch Pro, um, uh, for a fee of course, uh, you can get uh, a photograph converted into a sketch. Okay, so just check that out if you want to. Um, okay then. Okay, just to finish up, uh, a few bits of terminology that we'll be using throughout these tutorials. Uh, as I've already said, this is the uh, Easy Sketch Pro workspace. All of this here. Um, we'll be using Easy Sketch Pro to create. Uh, I'll call them whiteboard animation videos, but they're also called sketch videos, dude, um, uh, doodle videos, uh, handscribe videos. They've got a multitude of names, but I use whiteboard animation um, for simplicity. Um, the, uh, when we're actually creating a uh, whiteboard animation video, we'll call that a project, an Easy Sketch Pro project. Um, and uh, then here, uh, in, in the middle of the window here, this white area, this white rectangle, uh, is called the canvas. Um, the canvas, if you like, is what the camera sees. So things that you place on the canvas in this white rectangle will be um, in your final video. Um, but things, for example, you place outside the canvas in the grey area, anywhere around here, uh, won't turn up uh, in your video. And we'll see that you can create um, several canvases uh, in one project, and each canvas represents, if you like, a scene in a movie. Uh, but more of that later. Okay, uh, this we'll call the toolbar up here, and these are uh, tool buttons or icons. Um, and I think that's probably about all the terminology we need. Um, in the next video, we'll look at uh, canvas options. Okay.